Because possibly I have a fucked up version of OBS that makes it do that. It's not crashing, crashing now, but it will crash soon. The thing is that this only it literally only crashes when I'm using PS3 emulation. That's the only time. So if it crashes, y'all don't see me for the whole night, and that's it. Y'all see me tomorrow. It only happens when I'm on PS3 emulation. Notice how it didn't crash when I was on SD Gundam Cross Rays or, um, or on um any other PC games and stuff. But when I'm on PS3 emulation, it will do that sometimes. And yeah, I think they do kind of, um, I think they do keep people in line with those little white souls or whichever they did. <clears throat> Called Crash Out. Okay, so like, who are the characters going to be? If a lines opening give you chills for some reason I still have to watch a bit of elf in line I remember I remember like one of the two characters um I think they were sisters or something hold on come to think of it didn't the woman um who was the woman that gave birth to one of those uh to the red-haired girl I can't remember she literally straight up gave birth to um one of the crazy sisters I think the two girls were like sisters or something. I forgot. What's going on, Vince? Because I think the woman, the dude's wife literally did something. The dude's wife literally did something to get pregnant and stuff. And behind, um, what was it? Behind the dude's back? I forgot. Unless I was looking at the manga or something, but. Been a while the series has me a bit confused i'll say it like this i do remember the classroom scene the classroom scene where uh i do remember the classroom scene the freaking classroom scene where where um the little girl literally just like kills every dude in the classroom The famous classroom scene. That's the one Xenon, yep. <clears throat> shit, how did it go again? Push the shit out right there. No, nah, but the anime that I'm actually going to watch next is a uh, sign ex science experiment lane. That's the one I'm going to watch next. Crap, how you break this shit open? Then you hit the crash out button to go full demon mode. I 
I wanted to watch that anime for a while, dude. I just had to get some speculation on it first, though. Because, like, I be seeing Instagram reels and stuff. And Lane? That woman is so interesting, bro. Like, she just, like... <laughs> oh my god dude like and i heard that anime was banned in certain countries like in one country i can't remember what it was i think it was china or something but i heard that was a banned anime and i'm like how can it be banned though it looks so good and simplistic and the intro was good too man it got you feeling some sort of type of way like trying to push this down why well, want to go down go down maybe if I do it like this damn bro I didn't do anything maybe I gotta go a bit higher There you go. <laughs> Perfect. Yes, sir, skis. All right. Remember you guys stream crash I leave for the night Granola. Yeah, facts though. That's the villain in the manga for Super, right? People say the Super manga is good, but you know what? Fuck Super in general. Who does Super's design in the manga? Toyotaro? That design is shitty. I'm sorry. Everything about Super I hate, bro. Even the title. Suzuki. I'm tired of watching obvious animes these days, bro. That's why I fucks with Madoka Magica. Madoka Magica was packing heat. And they even coming out with a new movie, too. I gotta finish the other movies. He had a wish to be. He should have just wished for immortality. <laughs> Dude should have wished for immortality, bro. Then he wouldn't have to get his ass beat. Let <laughs> me dying, bro. Dragon Ball is too obvious for me. I'm tired of watching so many obvious shonen these days, like... I'll go proxy a watch too.
皆さんの本気に期待しますよそうだよ<笑>Let me search that up. Herbal Proxy is a Japanese cyberpunk anime television series. Wow. 2006. Twenty-three episodes. Yo, tell me, why the girl look like? Oh my gosh, she looks like Evanescence, bro. Hold on a sec. You know something? Her eyes. What's that one anime? Is that the? Is that the tip of my tongue? There was one image of her that that kind of reminded me of that one anime. Oh, what was it? What was it? Black Rock Shooter. Black Rock Shooter. Only because I seen the, the the blue part of her eyes and stuff. It reminds me of Black Rock Shooter. I'll give this a watch too, though. Or go proxy. I'll put that on the list. Malik, strong. Not bad. Before, I was a fool. Hmm. I'm just one of the weak. ああ。Not yet, but soon, though. Don't do that. Good job. Kimino 
が国は救われるだからどうか That's all his friends gone too. I <laughs> already saved already, man. <laughs> Shit. Find a Lux Ray? I'ma find me a Denki Kaminari. <laughs> I'ma find me. <laughs> or a damn or a damn Zapdos. <laughs> or fucking Raikou. <laughs> Richard's back, bitches. <laughs> no, actually, no, not Richard. Zero. <laughs> Don't take it. Once again, you stand in Richard's way. C2 outfit sure definitely fits Sophie.
リチャード。せっかく実験を食い止めたというのに、あれが今のリチャード。だから、とても人間のやることとは思えない。なんということだバルキネスクリアスのエレスが失われてしまったしかもウィンドルの国王が我が国のバルキネスクリアスを奪ったのかおのれこれは我が国に対する重大な侵略行為だ貴様らもこのままではすまさんケビーお待ちくださいおいげん相当かったジャイボーシどうしてここにパパ様からオサの代理に任じられやってきたんですよあなたはオサの代理パパ様からの伝言を総統閣下にお伝えさせていただきますどうかこの方たちの身柄をこちらに預からせていただけませんか今回の一件はフェンデルだけの問題ではなく世界中で同じことが起こっているようですオサはアンマルチア族の総力を挙げ真相を解明することを決定しましたそのためには That kind of reminded me of something whenever I hear Poisson's name Are you gonna eat that croissant? Knock yourself out! Thanks, Nick! Let me stop ガプレゼンティブ。我がアンマルチャ族は今後もペンデル政府との良好な関係を望んでおります。どのことです。わ、わかりました。この場は長老殿に預けます。官邸へ戻るぞ。オアソンあんた、あれって立派なお年だよ
but I dropped Blue Exorcist though because they couldn't stay close to the manga instead of just focusing on their own anime story season one wise I agree. All that new animation and everything. What's going on, Aizen? All that animation, dude. When you look at Rin, dude's got a fucking red pointy nose, bro. Like, what's up with that? What's up with the animation? Why does Rin? Why does Rin look like Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer? Like, <laughs> I mean, you see that dude's nose? Yes, his hair too! Everything about Rin is so downgraded, like... All the characters... All the characters look so weird, like... Season 1's animation was so much better, and I really wish they hadn't, like, changed up shit. Like... I'm not even pissed over the story and stuff. I'm not even pissed about the story and stuff like that. I'm more pissed... Like, I get that Season 1 was its own, you know, Season 1 was its own... Anime story, you know... And it didn't focus on the manga, but like, and then they want to like, you know, continue everything else manga wise. I get that, but like, I don't care about that. What I'm pissed off over the fact is the animation looks so, so flimsy, like. Training and sparking, how original. <laughs> Just one look at that animation and it's just, oh my god. Get all the rust off you. Damn, bro, I don't know what to say, man. I mean, I mean, you chose to get that rust on you in the first place. I mean, Rin used to look cool in the first season. Now he's just like a fucking joke. Yukio went through a whole damn redemption arc in the second season, bro, and it's like... Uh, first, season one's animation was way better. Honestly. I don't know what they were doing. A masochist getting beat up every episode? Uh, oh, oh my god. All I hear, Yukio, all I hear is like, all I hear about Yukio in the second season, oh my god, I never hated my brother, I hated my brother, I don't hate my brother, like, And it's like, where the fuck is Yukio's ears? Didn't Yukio's ears, like, already appear? His demon ears and shit? He should already have it, like... I'm like, Yukio's ears should have already appeared since since the first season. I mean, he drawed the sword, too, together with Rin, and closed the Gehenna Gate around the first season. But now it's like, the second season, you don't see his ears. 
I'm guessing it's because of the fact that season one was not based off of the manga. Season one was the anime's own story. I think that's yeah. I think that's probably why they said season one was based off of the um. They said season one was was based off of its own story, like it was its anime only story, while the manga was like undergoing something different. So that's probably why his ears didn't appear because the manga most likely didn't do it that way. That's because like because like one thing you'll notice as proof is that season one. Remember how I said it has its own story, but season two, when you see flashbacks to the first season, you ask yourself, wait. Were those in the first season? I don't remember seeing those in the first season. And that's exactly why. Because the anime had its own story. While the second season is literally finally focusing on the manga. Which is why people did not like the first season. No, it's literally a Marcion. It's literally a Marcion. That's what Pascal is. She's an, uh, a Marcion. They're still humans, of course, but... Eh. That's kind of why I wish I had the dub version. I don't like using the... um. I don't like using the undub version. I always like the dub version of Tales games, and I wish, wish they had the dub version online. But game was playing me. <clears throat> They're basically a race of smart motherfuckers, I would assume. They don't really have much of a bloodline either. And I think their race goes back at least a thousand years. And you know, then they mainly focused on fodder and technology back then too. Chainsaw Man? I'm gonna actually get you on that one. Because I can I can update you on that one. Asbel's eyes? Are you referring to him in his hack fit? Or... I think that's probably part of the DLC. Or probably, uh... For Chainsaw Man, um, they said that the next arc for Chainsaw Man is actually going to be a movie. <laughs> Not lying to you. To one of his eyes when it's freaking pink. Okay, so for that one, that would be Endgame Asbel. That would be a uh, Endgame Asbel because at the end of the game, he um merges with Lambda. And Lambda's, I think, Lambda, I think, is the final boss of Tales of Gracious F. Let me use the item to escape out of here. Where the item at? So after defeating Lambda, Asbel chooses to merge with Lambda. You know how? Here's a good example. You watch Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, right? Remember how Yu-Gi... <laughs> Remember how Jaden faced off against you, Bell? Remember the Jaden's old card, you, Bell? And they had a duel against each other? Jaden chose to mute. He, he, he chose to merge with you, Bell. Meaning that his. Meaning that you, Bell, would be his power, basically. It means that he would gain the powers of the Supreme King. Meaning that one of his eyes would change colors. It means that you, Bell's life force is within Jaden now. That's how it is with Asbel. Asbel merged with Lambda and gained Lambda's power, I, I would assume. 
My mind is bleak of Tales of Gracious F. It's been like years. What's going on, Jack? Welcome back, man. It's kind of like that. It's kind of like some Yu-Gi-Oh! GX type shit. Like how Jaden literally um, fuses with you, Bell. He fuses with you, Bell, and literally becomes the Supreme King and even gains a new power at that, too. Then again, it kind of makes sense because Jaden is, I mean, Yubel is kind of Jaden's old card, so. You ate? Shit, I was just eating too. A lot of pizza today. Did you bring some back? <laughs> Should have saved some for Eisen, bro. He definitely needs it, bro. Especially when you, especially when he's been on Sparking, bro, for like how many days? Well, that's a good way to put it. I'm not sure if you can use Endgame as Bell, though. Like, and when I say Endgame as Bell, like, you know, with lambda's power i would assume but i don't think there would be much of a dent difference when playing with him even after maxing him out i don't know if he has a specific alt with lambda or not but boy was lambda an annoying boss to deal with not only that but hubert at the end of the game um gives Launt back to Asbel and Asbel becomes the new um the new ruler of Launt as he was intended to be but you remember what happened you remember what happened in uh the future arc and shit Hubert intervened and took over Launt and Hubert went on a bit of a redemption arc and shit but at the end of the game and stuff at the end of the game and stuff you know he turned over Launt to him Super Robot Wars for Switch. Didn't you mention that before? Well, days ago, that is. Yeah, on God. Speaking of hack, I gotta, I gotta get on today too. C2 quote. <laughs> I forgot the rest, bro.
I think my overall favorite Code Geass opening was the second season's opening. That was my favorite opening. And I'm talking about the second season, literally the one where Code Geass R2. Where literally after, you know, literally after they find out who Lelouch is and stuff like that and find out that he's zero and shit and his father takes him and puts him in a dream world and shit, I think. Got rid of his, what, it got rid of his memories, I think? <laughs> or changed up his memories and shit? Where is the hold on? Where's the turtles? There y'all at. Now warp me. Place your world. Nope. There you go. Sure don't. Not obligated to give a damn. I got rid of my cable, so I don't watch Toonami on Saturday Saturday nights or any of that stuff anymore. How many episodes there are for Uzumaki? I mean, well, yeah, I mean, the anime is currently still airing, so... That's true, though. I love Code Geass. You know who I hated the most though in Code Geass though, Demars? It's definitely Lelouch's mother and father. Those are the two I hate. They're so wrong for what they did, like... Like, they did all this for their children, but never even consented with them. Are you on time? You were timed? When were you even timed? <laughs> oh my god, dude. 
Probably opened his mouth about sparking again. Remember High Guardian Spice? Not sure if I remember. It. Remember it though. High Guardian Spice? Yeah, bro, I remember that. That was the Crunchyroll special. It was originally by Crunchyroll. <laughs> but it was disrespected a lot because of its uh because of its animation and the fact that new episodes release every day. Everybody disrespected on High Guardian Spice, bro. It was close. It was close of that. It was close of that to an anime. I actually liked it. I watched that series all the way to the end, and I'm still, still um, trying to wait on seeing Rosemary's mother. We did though at the very end, but still. But like, I think it was a good series. ことは前も出てきたな。何のことか分かったのか。人の名前かな。大昔に今のリチャード見たく歩きねスクリアスを狙ったみたい。ほんでこれは何かの鹿の。せ。ボドラに生まれし、我が輩の種は3つの光の地
Like, didn't she go berserk over Yuffie's death and stuff like that? Because she wanted revenge or something? Because she always idolized Yuffie? Bunch of serial killers dressing as Jason Voorhees or Michael Myers. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> Damn. <laughs> Excuse me, yo. <laughs> She was though. Ah, she was. <laughs> the episode, the episode frames literally just bumped into my face, bro. Like, Meanwhile, I'm just trying to sit down with C2 and just eat some pizza. <laughs> 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 That's crazy. <laughs> Yo, <laughs> I mean, I, I wonder, I wonder, maybe Suzaku was hitting that, you know, before, <laughs> I mean, not, <laughs> I would think that Suzaku was probably hitting it, you know, hitting that at least behind the scenes, man, every end of the episode, but, <laughs> I mean, let's be honest. We had other characters who kind of who kind of did something like that, you know. Just not, just not in her case, you know. I mean, we got Obito out there too, man. Obito started up a damn war together with Madara over some damn coochie, bro. I mean, let's be honest. Dead, that is. But then again, that's Obito, though. Recommend Code Geass? I definitely do recommend it for you. World's eye and be as a bird. Obito was, he was indeed.
dub or sub. It's up to you, but you know, I like the dub. Especially when you got Johnny Young Boss forcing the loose. And Yuri Lil, the voice of Suzaku. Obito had a big asshole in his heart. <laughs> <laughs> 